Hello. Hey, how are you? <laughs> how are you? Good. I'm good. Where are you? Hi. Are you? At? I'm home. You're home. It, it home. looks like it, you are in your office. No, no, no. Um, my home looks like office. <laughs> <Just really. laughs> That's nice. Uh, so, um, are you are you still working? Did you did you work today? Yes, I work technically still working every day now. Um, okay. And it's Monday, so it's um, right. a little bit busy. And uh, plus, I have um, some patients um, here for um, dermatologic um, diseases. So okay. Um, yeah, but now um, of course um, aesthetic treatment um, also um, reduced a little bit. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So the, the, how how long uh, did you guys have a lockdown? Period or it it was never a lockdown at all. No, no, never. Um, it's just um things become a bit slower now. Um, okay. But now every day um we have some protocols in the clinic that um patients or um customers need to follow before they enter um the clinic. We uh, take temperatures. Um, they are asked to uh, wear masks, and also um, we need to uh, take the travel histories um, because okay. the our database um, is connected um, to the immigration. So okay. um, whenever we insert uh, the insurance card, we are able to see the patient's travel history. So if they right. have um, the recent travel history within um, 14 days, um, right. we probably will ask the patients to. Uh, come back when uh, it's the 14 days passed. Okay, so everything is linked to the system. So you basically, it, you just have to key in and you know, um, basically if they have travel or they have been somewhere that, that you will be yeah. worried about. Yes. But how yes. about those coming from overseas? I mean, those who doesn't have the insurance or they come in and willing to pay on their own. Do you uh, have we are... We are still able to uh, uh, just insert their, um, enter their um, ID number or passport number. We're able to see the, um, the, re the patient's recent travel history and uh, where, uh, where the, the, the patient um, just flew in from. Okay. And do, do you have patients who, who kind of uh, really push for the treatment? Is that I just, I don't care. I want it now. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so far, um, we don't have uh, patients like that. Uh, we are lucky. Uh, okay. uh, every, every, everyone is very sensible. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. Because yes. uh, Taiwan has been doing a fantastic job, excellent job in terms of controlling. You know, it's so close to China. You yes. have so many people working there. You probably have about out of your 23 million citizens, that's about 40,000 people living there. Uh, yes. Uh, I mean, four, 400,000 people working there. And yeah. uh, this is very high. But in, if you look at the numbers, you only have 300 over close to 400 diagnosed and uh, only only six deaths so far. And, and how, how was it? Why, why was it that, that excellent? I think we act um, pretty early. Uh, we have a population of um, 20, 23 million. And uh, in Taipei, we have a population of 2.5 million. Um, so the government really actually act very early. Um, and uh, because our, our, our previous experience from SARS, um, oh. we um, ha at least half of the, 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 um, the, the people they have, they are, uh, They are conscious about um, the, um, the spread of this kind of disease. So in the very beginning, um, before Chinese New Year, when we um, see the news from the television or newspapers, um, we, we kind of like get that we need to, um, you know, prepare some masks right. and um, uh, get well prepared. So actually before Chinese New Year, I have... Um, You know, I, I have to uh, purchase a huge stash of masks because <laughs> of previous experience. And also, I uh, uh, we, we prepare a lot of alcohol, uh, also a lot of uh, gloves and all the medical supplies we need to make sure that are um, enough for the following at least six months. So right. um, um, I think most of the doctors, um, they, they do similar things. And uh, also, uh, we, be we began to take temperatures um, uh, since January. And then uh, the government also built up all the systems that is very convenient for us to look up the um, 
inbound patients, um, the travel history, and also uh, I think most of the pe people they they understand and also they know what what's going to happening if uh, because they also has they already have experience like SARS. So right. um, it's not not difficult for us to do this at all, actually. Right, because you already have an experience with SARS. And do, you went through SARS as well, right? That period of time, you already had your private practice then? Yes, I was, you know, like five years old. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> but yeah, they, did you see the difference? Right? So what's the biggest difference? And during that time where you have SARS, was that a, a much more fear or was there more fear this time compared to last time? Well, um, I would say... SARS is um, def definitely more uh, more toxic, um, but um, but for for COVID nineteen it spread really fast. Um, it's out of everyone's expectation. So um, um, SARS, but back to then um, we we already already had the experience that there there is a shortage of um, masks and. Um, um, I remember the, the year of SARS, I was going to graduate from medical college and we right. even canceled our, our graduation. So I right. have no memory about my graduation ceremony and I, I can't <laughs> even find where my uh, graduation photo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You, you, did you know that there's one um, uh, university in Japan, they actually have robots with the uh, the photos of their yeah. graduates and, and they took it together. Yeah, <laughs> we, we did the same thing back 17 years ago. <laughs> and, you know, everyone is wearing a um, surgical mask. And, uh, right. you know, when, when you when you take take a look at the photos now, you can't even wear <laughs> where yourself is. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell who, who's who then, no, right? No, no, <laughs> and, and this time, I think, was there a big... Um, um, awareness in in the whole Taiwan that everybody was so concerned that everybody was wearing masks from the day one once the the, the uh, news is out yes and um, um, I think everyone is um, I think that's uh, what we have and what we own now is kind of um, like the hard work of um, of everyone because uh, now um, now even we are uh, relatively uh, safe now, but going outside, it is also still compulsory uh, to wear masks. And uh, if you're in the, in the elevator um, uh, or any closed region, you, um, wearing masks is definitely compulsory. And uh, even you go to um, the department stores, Every single department stores, they take your temperatures before they let you in. And also they have um, alcohol for you to wash your hands. And sometimes, um, you know, in uh, many department stores, they, they already did this in their, at their gate. But after, right. if you want to go to uh, a particular restaurant within the department store, they do it right. again. So um, right. if you go through all the floors uh, in the department stores, it, technically uh, wash your hands like 10 times, <laughs> the temperatures like 10 times. And, and all the virus would not survive then. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> and but how about how we survive? <laughs> how about physical distancing? Was it a big um, thing there? Yes, um, now uh, we have um, a policy and also a rule that uh, from the government that um, if if you wear masks, um, you are not you are allowed to have the distance uh, less than one meter um, between your friends. But if you are not wearing masks, uh, it is required to have a social distance uh, more than one point five mm, uh, meters um, indoor and a one meter outside. So um, it's kind of like, um, um, you know, they um, spread these announcements um, on news, on uh, line and on all the media to let people know that we have to follow the, the rules. And um, also, I, I recently, I also have an experience that, you know, I just had a, um, a tour uh, back in uh, um, 5th of, of, of March to right. 9th of March. And right. I was in Turkey, and yes. um, I, 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 I I came back at, at night, and then right. at fourteenth, I right. the government had announced that everyone that entered the countries uh, between this period 
you have to uh, be quarantined at home uh, for fourteen days. <laughs> right. And then uh, w- by the time I received the news, is I have entered the country uh, for ten、right. days. But that was、right. a new announcement. So I have、okay. to、um, close my clinic, and I went back to my my apartment, and then locked myself in for another five days. <laughs> Oh, lucky you! It's it's、yeah. only five days. It's not fourteen、yeah. days. Yeah,、uh. because uh, the reason they did this is because、um, there was a、um, tourist tourism tourist group.、Um, right. They went to Turkey, and、um, there were fifteen、um, people in that group, and thirteen、right. uh, people out of them are、right. infected in Turkey. Wow. So, okay. So the government think、um, they decided to take the precautions to take these proactive、uh, procedures、um, to you know、um, quarantine to to ask these those people they ent- who enter the country in that period of time um, to um, stay home at least fourteen、um, um, days to make sure we are not infected. I got you. Yeah, you. In fact, it's it's amazing because I think the the CECC, the com,、uh, the Central Command Center, is doing such a great work under、uh, Mr. Chen Sichong, right? He's uh, he's he's uh, I, he's doing great work, like just like the Dongnan Zan in China. We do、uh, have one here as well. Yeah, doing great yeah. Work. I think we need this kind of leader to kind of lead us in these difficult times. Yeah. And are, are you are you guys doing any specific like、uh, protection or best practices in, in? I know you you do temperature taking, you take their travel history,、yeah. you in that place. I I I saw you saying your your clinic smells like Clorox、yeah. right now. Yeah, 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 and、uh, yeah. After after we、uh, take the history, we take the temperature, and make sure they uh, uh they have the permission <laughs> to come in, and then.、Right. Um, every during the consultation, of course,、um, we、um, technically follow the path that every patient walk through, and then、uh, we disinfect the area with bleach after we see every patient, including the doorknob,、uh, the patient seat, and also um, um, all、uh, technically everything the patient touched. We we disinfect the area, sanitize the area with bleach, and then、uh, right for after each... patient, right 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 after the patient just leaves, you just kind of control one by one, or how how do you how do you do because、that? we are we are、uh, we are greeting the the next patient soon, so you know、right. we kind of do the sanitation in between. Okay. Yeah, we have to clean、uh, everything that patient touched, just touched, like、um, right. Right, immediate after the patient left the the my office, and、right. also if the patient is here for、um, aesthetic treatment, including um, um, his personal lounge and also、right. the bed and also、mm-hmm. um, where he、uh, the patient just、um, just seated,、uh, we typically、um, clean everything right after the patient left, and inc- also including the locker. Every patient has his locker. Yeah, so、right. we、um, have to sanitize all these areas to make sure,、um, you know, the, the to to be be、uh, secured for the next patient.、Uh, do you, do you even like、uh, bleach your devices or or、uh, laser machines? <laughs>、uh, I yeah, I, you know, I felt recently、uh, my、hey. clinic seems to be become even more cleaner than before. <laughs> <laughs> It might not be a bad thing after all, right? Yeah, everything <laughs> becomes a little bit shiny. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and and do you wear facial? I think、um, do you, do you、uh, wear them yeah, yeah, during? Yeah, yeah.、Um, uh, we because when we when we are, are、um, using laser, we already have goggles, and of course、right. we wear masks. And then, but、um, yes,、uh, we if we patients we have this helmet with a plastic cover、um, to、right. make sure. Um, to you know,、um, block the the droplets, and、um, yeah, we we have that because the、um, our association they delivered、uh, some of these to each clinic to make sure we have、uh, these、um, gears. Wow, it's very nice of them. Do they just give one each, or how how does it work? It's the Taipei、um, City Bank Association.、Right? Yes, yes, yes.、Yeah. Um, uh, we have one to two because one is、uh, one for the receptionist. And ones for、ah. the doctor, yeah. And um, but but um, the other 
the other nurses, I, um, they are equipped with the goggles. So when they are um, talking to the patients, they are, um, it is safer for them to, um, to secure them um, from the, the droplets. And also um, our surgical masks, um, it's actually um, now rationalized because um, we cannot, we are not able to purchase the surgical masks anymore uh, okay. from our supplier. So right. the only way to get um, the mask is, is from the government. So they, the government will ration um, the masks um, they will give you, um, make sure you have enough numbers uh, for the following one to two weeks, and then okay. they'll deliver you the mask every one to two weeks. Yeah, so okay. um, it's, um, I think now we, we, um, we are always have enough um, surgical masks. Surgical masks. That's very good yeah. because it, it prevents people from hoarding, and yeah. uh, at least everybody gets to, to get it, right? And do yeah. they kind of, Fix certain price so the people won't actually sell it at a higher price. It's free. It's free. Ah, fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> I think yeah. that fantastic work uh, in, in in Taiwan going on over there. And and how is you say some of your patients that the numbers have dropped and uh, ha, it, it, is it something that uh, everybody is still in fear or what what's what are you seeing? Is it because of the economy? Um, now, yeah, of course, um, it definitely has an impact on the economy and, of course, an impact on our revenue. Um, but I think it's just temporary. We are already um, luckier. Uh, on average, every aesthetic clinic, they have a drop of at least, I would say, 40 to 50%. Yeah, mm -hmm. and um, but for for dermatologic patients, um, the sim the number is similar. Um, didn't drop much, but for aesthetic okay. treatments, um, they have dropped for at, at least forty to fifty percent. Um, but I think it'll it'll come back because the confirmed case number have been uh, less than um, um, ten for the past one week. Um, like for today, yesterday, and the day uh, before we have uh, five confirmed cases. So the c case yes. number is already uh, constantly dropping. Um, so I think, yeah, it's become much safer than before. Exactly. And uh, and the great thing is you guys never really had a lockdown. You don't yeah. have to worry about the release and people start to do crazy stuff. But um, yeah. one thing is, will life be the same anymore after COVID-19? Will that be a significant change, do you think? It takes time. It takes time because, you know, like, like for the aviation industry, um, you know, they, I think they, they are the, you know, the worst. biggest, uh, yeah. 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 And, um, um, and, and you also for to, me, you get to see in, in the, um, you get to see in the plane for all for yourself. You went yeah. to Turkey, you went to Saudi Arabia, you you yeah. were the only one there. Yeah, 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 no, I, I didn't book it, they just <laughs> um, gave me. Yeah. 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 But you know what, now now in Taiwan, if you are taking right. the taxi, uh, right. you cannot take a taxi without wearing a mask. Okay. Because um, they they already uh, told you, um, they um, everyone who is taking the taxi, they have uh, you have to wear a mask. And uh, almost technically everywhere um, except for the restaurant. And uh, we're we're lucky that when when I'm in court, I was in quarantine. Uh, we are still able to uh, book to to um, order food from from Uber Eat. So right. uh, as much as I uh, stayed home uh, for a few days and I can't right. I I couldn't go out, but uh, I have you know quite a huge variety of food to right. to order. Yeah. Right. And and now you can't now you cannot do that? Uh no no yeah we're still able to do that but now okay. I'm not I'm not in quarantine now so right, right. so you know I can just um go out to feed go, go out. Yeah. Right. Um and but back to the um um go back going back to normal thing um I think it takes right. time. Um right. at least 2 to 3 months. Um, I think maybe even longer because, you know, it's kind of like a problem of supply chain because um, um, pay, uh, people have no income and they, they don't have the, the drive to, to buy things or do, um, you know, um, higher price treatment 
or um, so yeah it's 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 the problem of supply chain yeah and and uh, taiwan has always been very competitive in terms of the industry and do you think this will have a big hit in the industry itself and would some of your colleagues or even some aesthetic clinics uh, would not survive through this do you think well um i heard there there are some there are some um yeah um unfortunately yeah there are some but um i would say not not many not many okay yeah right. yeah but um as long as you know um things gets better in the following two months or three months right. i think um most people are relatively safe yeah but a lot of a lot of you guys actually go to china to work as well right you have a yeah. uh, work in china and some of them also have uh, work or even stay there so what will happen after this today is is it harder to go back to go to china or was it there's any arrangements going on um i think it takes some more time to make sure because i think the government would want to make sure um the 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 situation over there is um safe enough not, before okay. they um have opened all the um flights um yeah so i think it would take at least two more months yeah my okay. guess yeah right mm-hmm. and and do you think that after this most people will wear masks in and out from um, from because we, <laughs> we don't know we don't know who's coming in three months Yeah, right. I think they they will still wear masks. It's kind of right. like um an accessory. <laughs> <laughs> you're yeah, you're and, probably uh, designing yeah. some of the masks. Yeah. yeah, they already they even have um different uh designs for masks and different colors that goes with <laughs> goes with their your 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 wear. <laughs> <Well. laughs> yeah. So I think it's already become an accessory uh, for for people in Taiwan or even a, most of the Asian people. Um right. but Uh, I think, but in 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 a half a year, I think it will become less and less because um, I believe in six months things will become much better than now. Right, right, and and I I know you also do fortune telling. You you're doing some <laughs> in in your some of your your shows that you you had it in your <laughs> in, in you your. Know, you... <laughs> I'm I'm just kidding. So if I give you a crystal ball, and if you what what do you think like for the next six months to come, what will happen? What what's your what do you hope to see? Well, I think uh, we will be able to um, fly to different countries <laughs> at least <laughs> at least half of the countries. I <laughs> yeah. Um, you uh, are you missing flying? Oh, very much. So you know, oh. I'm um I'm actually uh almost going to prepare a toilet lid <laughs> for me to take photos, <laughs> maybe in the window. Are you already making plans for your next travel? No, we. Uh, I don't have a plan now, but I'm sure. Uh, I I hope I will be able to go to your conference without any yes. obstacles. <laughs> Yeah, well, it's it's fingers crossed. We we yeah, just yeah. don't know. It's it's yeah, but yeah. hopefully, hopefully, yeah. yes, yeah. it will happen. Yeah. What about so, what about Malaysia? So currently, we are in the lockdown phase. Um, I, okay. well, it's not a full lockdown. It's um, it, what we call a movement control order. That means we basically stay at home to mm-hmm. try to kind of uh, avoid um any kind of physical contact. Uh-huh. Um, the problem. Was there was a, a gathering uh, right before this whole shenanigan happens, and uh, there was a lot of there's fourteen thousand people gathering in a religious gathering, and um, precautions wasn't done. And I I don't know who ever even let that happen, but that was one of things that we need to do for a damage control. But thankfully, things has turned out to be much better. Um, it, the numbers right now has dropped uh, in terms of the the climb. Um, it's about four thousand eight. We are the highest in Southeast Asia. I think mm-hmm. uh, not later. Um, um, some countries are taking up that, but we have seventy seven death in terms of death numbers. We are not that high, but com- in comparison, the diagnosed cases 
But having said that, um, I think uh, we we still need some time. That that's why it was supposed to uh, end this week, but mm -hmm. the whole decided to to extend for another two weeks, and I think that's mm -hmm. for the better good. And uh, well, luckily we have this Doctor Nor Hisham who's who's somewhat like your um, Chen Shizong uh, in okay. in Taiwan. Okay. So I think he's doing a good job right now, and hopefully, hopefully we get this everything under control. And uh, of course, once we go back, it won't be the same anymore. In, in terms of the heat, um, in terms of getting stars, wasn't too big a thing. That time, mm -hmm. I think people kind of not too um, really. There, there was fear, but I think this time the the awareness is way more. Um, okay. it, our SARS time, we didn't hit as hard compared to China, Hong Kong, Taiwan, and Singapore. Mm -hmm. And I think this time we kind of, uh, I, at, at least I think the one thing that comes out of this is I think people are more aware now, and hopefully mm -hmm. they're aware. Okay. Yeah, but uh, are people wearing masks now? Yes, in fact, uh, nowadays if you go, if you ever, so they control uh, the numbers of people that can go out to buy food in a day. Uh, that means it, you, only one person uh, from a household is allowed to go out and you can okay. only have one person in the car. And even at uh, if you do groceries and stuff, um, physical distancing is there, everybody's wearing masks. And there are also uh, people started to be very creative. They wrap themselves with dinosaurs, with okay. uh, rat pads, <laughs> and they, they even have plastic bags over their face. So there was a lot of funny stuff <laughs> coming out of this, but I think it's about very good. Okay, that <laughs> makes life a little bit colorful. <laughs> it's exactly. Sometimes when, when you have hard time, humor is the thing that keeps you alive. And I think, right. yeah, we are doing that as well. And okay. uh, if you look at some of my uh, colleagues, they are doing a lot of uh, TikTok these days. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 anyway, so, so what, what, um, so with, with now, I, I think you're getting a lot of engagement in terms of Christy just say, yes, because <laughs> this, what she did, she was doing some, the pew, pew, pew thing today. It was so, <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, so so right now a lot of engagement for webinar and, and yes. you've been talking about more of that. Yeah, um, we we cannot go out to um fly travel to have a um physical conference, but at least we we get to um have webinar to um not only um just sharing the experience with the colleagues, but also you know it's more like a catch up with. Uh, our friends uh, from around the world so um, it's 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 good at least uh, we are still able to have news from friends and catch up with friends yeah exactly i think this one thing about um social distancing yeah it's a misnomer i think yeah. we are doing physical distancing and then we are more socially bound with yeah. a lot of bond bonded with our friends all over the world and i think this yeah. is the fun thing and this yeah. is something that is going on yeah yeah we yeah. have no distance in our minds. <laughs> <laughs> and how how are your cats? Are the, are your cats happy that you are staying home every day? Yeah, yeah. See one. Okay. Oh wow! <laughs> What's he doing there? <laughs> so Sleeping. They, they, okay. This is hanging out with you. Um, um, are they, yeah. Are they... You know, when I was um, home for uh, during that five days, uh, they are kind of bored by me because um you know they they, they see suddenly all of a sudden i uh, travel um once in a while Less. from time to time and uh, right. you know all of a sudden to them they see me 24 7 and uh, you know they are kind of i think they they probably uh, were thinking i'm <laughs> becoming too clingy uh, <laughs> so, yeah. so, so now you get to go back to to work is it better for them yeah, I think they, um, you know, they they need some space. I believe <laughs> that's a good one. And and what what would be the first thing that you want to do after this? Like when everything is gonna come down, and let's say if if uh, you get to travel anywhere you want to go to, what's what's yeah. the first thing you want to do? Of course, I will book my 
uh, flight tickets without any doubt. The first minute, wherever I go, you know, I want to enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope that will be sometime soon, and hopefully, with the things in Europe and United States come down a little bit yes, more. Yes, yes, yes. Um, we have a, a lot of friends in Europe and and, and uh, in Americas, and yeah. yeah, I do hope they um, you know, uh, weather the storm um, smoothly. Yeah, indeed, and uh, yeah, we we just couldn't wait until everything came back, come back to normalcy, uh, at least the new normalcy, and then we get to meet again and have a lot more discussion. And uh, uh, without having to keep social distancing. Exactly. Well, uh, maybe the next time you see me, I will have a face shield, and okay. I have gowns and everything, but I'll hug you with that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will. Keep, I will take this down and then make sure you <laughs> see, see to it. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you so much for joining me today, thank and you for uh, having me. Great to see you are doing well and safe. And I think uh, we'll, we'll probably see each other quite soon for some webinars as well. I think yes, there's a few yes. coming up. <laughs> yeah, sure, for sure. That's for sure. All right. Okay. Stay okay. safe, and then we'll okay. keep in touch. All right. Okay. Bye. Okay. Bye. Bye.